Welcome to Mastering and Guideline in Ultrasound and Echo. Hi everyone, here we have hands-on experience to any uh, section. We have a patient, uh, 21 year old, uh, a guy, that uh, the reason for indication was palpitation and some abnormal EKG on Holter monitoring for two weeks. And during, uh, at the beginning of the study, when we, I asked the patient a little history and everything, it showed up that uh, the patient has some uh, congenital murmur. He remembered that they called it in the childhood. They, uh, they told him uh, he has uh, murmur and they did and the childhood echo it was normal and they couldn't find uh, any reason for murmur anyway but the patient indication was palpitation here we have all those image on the plaques as you can see color and here you have RVIT, partial RVOT on the plaques and those plaques. Just I have to mention here, when I listened to this patient, there was a, a great tree of the systolic and little weaker diastolic murmur at the apex of the heart that a little radiated to the little right parasternal. Anyway, uh, it has been this study done. You, you can see on the plaques and RVIT. Here we have on the PZAX or short axis. And uh, you have to find, do you see any things that explain the murmur for patient? And do you see any congenital anomaly or disease on this patient? My question is only this one, on this case. Here we have it. It's very obvious we have here a little PI trace, you called it. It's very common almost. In most people, they have it. Here on the MyTravel PZAX and Popular Mozil. Just check it out and see if you see any abnormal and reason for the murmur or not and palpitation, what is going on. Here we have on the apical window, as you can see, 4, 2, 3 with the color, 5 chamber, 2 chamber, and here all those view that we need it on the color and non-color 2D. Here are uh, those diastolic parameters. Uh, I forgot to mention the measurement EF was normal, LA and RA volume normal, index normal. There wasn't any abnormal con uh, Doppler on the mitral valve, on the aorta and tricuspid. And uh, on tricuspid, uh, TR was upper limit normal with the IVC. Uh, right ventricular systolic pressure was around 30 to 35. Here we have uh, the ostolic. Answer to this question, besides of if you find uh, and what is the problem with this patient, what was the source of the, uh, can you mention if there is any source for that murmur that we even in the listening, we notice that one. And second, uh, what this pattern uh, show you and why here we have pulmonary vein, as you can see, S is smaller than the D and you, you can see here S and D. Y is reverse and here E to A is 2, more than 2, 2.4. And here we have uh, medial and lateral E prime. Can you explain why we have this? How we can differentiate it, this one from the uh, 
severe or restrictive diastolic dysfunction. Here we have subcostal for the PFO or AST. Here another color on the V uh, on the septum, and here TR, and here aortic are continuous. That is continuous is normal. So, for uh, did you find anything? If not, what should we do on this patient? Finding the reason for. Uh, that uh, murmur that even still is present, what we missed here on this patient. And beside of those other uh, questions that I ask. Think a little, if you can put, put your uh, answer on the comment, go study, go one by one back and forth and check everything. Uh, what we have to do, what we miss something here that we have to do on this patient, find the cause of that uh, murmur. Now let's go see explanation and answer.